So here is what you can do when your card, whether it's a credit debit card, is just not getting accepted to the Apple wallet on your iPhone. You simply can't add it there. And of course, there are many different reasons why this can be the case. So let's get started with this video right now. The very first and probably the most common way why it doesn't work for you is incorrect information. I'm literally speaking from my personal experience because recently I was trying to add a new card to my Apple wallet and all went fine until the card suddenly got declined and I had no idea why. And then after a few tries, I noticed that I'm adding the wrong year for my expiration period of the card. So chances are that this is the case for you as well. It doesn't only need to be the year that's wrong. It can also be actual number of your credit card or the month of expiration, whatever that may be. All the data has to be 100% accurate. Also, as you may know, there is this feature that lets you take a photo of your credit card and it'll automatically get all the information from the card without you actually typing the numbers in. Well, that's really good because it eliminates the chance that you make a mistake. But if you're using that to add your card, try typing the numbers in manually. Or in the other case, if you typed your data manually, try scanning the card instead. It's possible that that the fault is somewhere in the process and this little trick might help you to unveil it. Uh, but this naturally isn't the only reason why this may happen. Besides this, there are plenty of others. For example, it is possible that certain card issuers may impose limitations on Apple Wallet based on specific regions or countries. For one reason or another, but it is essential to ensure that your card and Apple ID region align to avoid any potential issues. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Besides that, there could be something even simpler going on. Well, it is also possible that your device simply doesn't have a stable connection to the internet, and this could very easily be preventing you from adding the card to your Apple wallet. So naturally, in this situation, what you need to do is to make sure you're connected to a stable Wi-Fi network or have cellular data turned on and running. Then the next step would be to try all the troubleshooting method available to you. The very first thing is to update the iOS. Updating your operating system is, to be honest, something that should be a no-brainer, but it's totally possible that you're one or a few updates behind. So go to the settings, then the general section, and then tap on software update. Just make sure to install the latest one available, and you should be fine. Even if it doesn't fix your immediate problem, it's always a good idea to keep your device up to date. After updating, or in the case that no update is available, you should simply restart your device. It's something that you should always try first whenever facing any software issue because it might reset the software and make things work again. And then the next option is to get in touch with your bank and credit card issuer. They will definitely be able to help you out and the help you receive should be much more personable and tailored to you. They should know what's going on and you ought to be informed about all the verification methods and things you need to do to make sure your card can be used for Apple Pay in your wallet. So this is the end of this video. I mentioned all the things I could think of in terms of possible solutions to the problem of not being able to use a card app for Apple Pay payments on your iPhone. I really hope that this video helped you out. For more content and similar videos like this one, make sure you are subscribed to the Foxtech YouTube channel. You can also go ahead and check out this next video that you can see on the screen right now. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the future. Peace.